This week's Parsha is Parsha's Vayera. Just like we saw in the previous Parshas, Parsha's Vayera also has this continuing portion of iconic stories of our faith. It begins in Hebron, where Avram welcomes three strangers who subsequently prove to be angels or messengers. The welcoming of guests in, is known as, in Hebrew, Hachmas al Orchim. We see, actually see this mitzvah mentioned every day in Shachris when we say, Elo Adarim Shein Lahem Shior. In Perak Aleph, in the second Pasuk Bet, And Abraham saw the three men standing near him, and he ran to the entrance of the tent to bow and greet them. When the guests came, Abraham attended to their every need. Pasuk Dalet adds, He immediately provided water to wash their feet after they had a long journey through the desert on a hot day, and then he had them recline under a tree. He didn't just offer them bread, he offered them a small piece of bread so that they would accept it without feeling that they were imposing upon him. At the same time, he ended up giving them much more, meat and sides. He did not just welcome them in, he made them feel welcome. The detail with which this mitzvah is described elevates this act above many other mitzvot. Chazal interpreted the first line of the passage to suggest that Abraham interrupted his conversation with HaKadosh Baruch Hu to attend to his guests. This indicates that the mitzvah of HaKhanas Orchim is more important than experiencing divine presence. So why is this so important? The constant biblical injunction that we welcome the stranger since we were strangers in the land of Egypt is certainly part of this story. Additionally, the Shla Kadosh explains that this is because we were all guests in Hashem's world and Hashem personally provides us with all of our needs. Thus, bringing Orchim into our homes is the highest form of imitating Hashem. Furthermore, by so honoring our guests, we recognize the divine aspect of each individual. Welcoming guests into our homes forces us to take the time to break down barriers and build a community. And by performing this mitzvah at the local level, Perhaps we learn how to accept and include those we consider strangers in the larger society. Have a Shabbat Shalom.